What does magnesium do? Well, it's involved in over 300 different metabolic reactions, so, so much. But let's look at three health effects in particular. How getting more dietary magnesium can affect our risk of diabetes, as well as cardiovascular disease and migraine headaches. What's fascinating is that both type 1 and type 2 diabetics tend to have low magnesium levels, probably as a consequence of abnormal glucose metabolism. But magnesium depletion seems to worsen insulin resistance and adversely affect blood sugar control. So for example, a large meta-analysis showed that people with the highest dietary magnesium had a 17% reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to the people with the lowest magnesium intake. Researchers have calculated that for every 100 milligrams of dietary magnesium, which is like a quarter to a third of our recommended dietary intake, that reduces the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 15%. And for every 200 milligrams of dietary magnesium, cardiovascular disease risk drops by 22%. And getting enough magnesium seems to be really important for reducing the frequency, duration, and severity of migraine headaches. Studies are pretty mixed on popping a magnesium supplement at the first sign of a migraine aura, but there are some really well-designed clinical trials that show that upping magnesium on a daily basis can help to reduce migraines. For example, a 1996 double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial showed that a daily magnesium supplement for four weeks reduced migraine frequency by nearly 42% and halved the amount of pain medication that migraine sufferers needed to take. And if you're interested in all of the amazing ways that getting more magnesium improves our health, how much of it we need, and all the best food sources, then head on over to NutriBar.com. Tap on nutrients, tap on magnesium. Biological roles and health effects are near the top of the article. Problems from too much or too little are in the middle and all of the best food sources at the bottom.